Hi! Um, I thought I'd do this month's February favourites in a video, um, just instead of writing them all out into a massive long post, which I'm sure nobody will read. Um, I'm convinced no one reads past like the first paragraph of my blog usually, but there you go if you do, thanks. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about the lighting, literally it's just started pouring with rain, which is brilliant. Um, so it might be a bit dark, but yes, um, so yeah, I'll crack on. Um, first of all, um, MAC Cleanse Off Oil. I bought this probably about January, I think you've probably seen it if you do read my blog. I did a little mini haul from when I went to Bournemouth. Um, and a MAC shop, yay! <laughs> there is nowhere around here that sells MAC at all. Um, yeah, I don't really have a lot of products from MAC. I know a lot of people, just entire collection of makeup is MAC. Like, 20 lip glosses. I don't see the appeal in having that much, but still, fair enough if you love it. Um, yeah, I don't know why I bought a skincare product, but I did. Um, I love oil products, like for hair, body, everything. Um, so I thought I'd try this. Um, I did buy a Nip and Fab cleansing oil for like, um, you know, just to use to take my makeup off um, a couple of weeks before this. But it's so thick and runny, it's more like a gel. Um, but I wanted something that's quite liquid, if you can see, it's literally just a liquid. Um, so a couple of pumps of this on dry skin. Um, before I go to take my makeup off, just like gets rid of all the excess. Um, I used to use like wipes just to take it off, but ugh, I hate wipes. Makeup wipes are just evil. Don't. <laughs> Sorry if you use them, but I hate, I hate makeup wipes. Um, so yeah, I've just been using this, and it just melts away your makeup. Like, it doesn't like completely cleanse your skin. You still need to do like a cleanse afterwards. I'll still like um, use like my Lizelle or you know another cleanser. Um, but this just before just gets rid of all the excess, and it just makes it a lot easier to wash face. So yeah, I love that. Um, makeup. Now I've been sort of, <laughs> I don't know if I should say this, I mean Double Wear, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Oh, I have a love-hate relationship with this really. It's super, super full, heavy coverage. Oh, it's, it's such a gorgeous finish though, that's why I love it. It just it leaves your skin just perfect, literally. Everything is covered, don't even need concealer with this. Um, but it's so, I mean, people who wear it will know, it's so thick and heavy. It literally, oh, just, not masks out your face, but it, it really is quite full, um, full on. Um, but, oh, I just love the finish. And my skin's been pretty bad at the moment because I haven't been following, like, a proper skincare routine. I should be using my Clarisonic, but I, I keep forgetting. Sorry, that's bad. Um, so, yeah, I've just been covering it all up, really, with, like, the fullest coverage foundation I could find. Um, I mean, it's not maximum coverage, like the Estee Lauder maximum, I wouldn't go near that. Um, but it, it is so lovely. I mean, use it for a couple of days and then have a break if you're going to use this. Um, because your skin will just suffocate because it can't breathe. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, ooh, sunny. Um, such a lovely foundation. But yes, use sparingly. But I haven't been, so that's bad. Um, yeah, I don't really have a lot of makeup favourites. I don't really have a lot of any favourites this month. I haven't really been reaching for anything like more than everything else that I have in my massive stockpiles of products. Um, I have been doing though is eyebrows. Really into eyebrows at the moment. Not quite sure why. I think if I had to leave the house with nothing on but one product, it would be a bit of eyebrow. Um, so yeah, I've been like a length of thread for my eyebrows, which nearly ended in disaster and half an eyebrow missing. But um, yeah, so I've been like threading, plucking, I really want to get HD brows done, but quite expensive, I can't quite afford that. Um, so I bought this little £8 cheap and easy little tint kit. Um, it says eyelash and brow kit, I use it on my eyelashes and my eyes nearly fell out, it just stung so much, so I wouldn't recommend doing it on there. But for eyebrows this is perfect, I got the dark brown colour because I wasn't really going to go for black eyebrows. Um, yeah, but you just put this on loop for 10 minutes and then it like just tints them so you don't have to pencil them in or like powder as much as if they were just like your normal colour. Um, so yeah, that's really good. I've been using that. It says 30 days, but I have been doing it sort of like once a week because it doesn't last that long. Unless it's just me doing it wrong, but there we go. Um, yeah, hair products is my sort of last little section. Um, Lee Stafford. Um, Flat Iron Protection Mist. This is from the Poker Straight range. I clearly don't have Poker Straight hair. I have messy, crazy hair. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I used to use a lot of these type of products. Um, but I sort of went off them. 
for a while I'm not sure quite why I think the smell just really turned me off I just I couldn't stand it um, it's it really reminds me of Tear and Muggler Angel perfume I don't know if anyone's ever tried that but it it's quite strong it's, it's like a love or some hate um, perfume smell um, but I smelled this at work the other day and I just really liked it again I'm not sure why but yes yeah, so I bought this I'm using your hair protection thing um, I mean as far as like protecting your hair goes it does the same as any other hair mist protection thing I've ever used. I don't really see the difference between any of them at all, apart from the ones that are sort of oily, which make hair a bit skanky. Um, but yeah, it's just this is great for that, but I just love the smell, so that's why I've been wearing it like every day. Spraying it on there. Um, yeah, and then last of all is the Ose. Ooh, that was a really good catch. I don't know if you could see that, but impressive. <laughs> um, the Swatchkoff Osis dusting texture powder now these powders I mean every brand has one now I think they've been out for a while but I've used quite a few like the TG and the VO5 Tresemme one um, and just this seems to be the best for some reason I'm not sure why they all feel pretty much the same it's not quite as grainy and sandy as other ones can be I mean I know you do probably have to like wash your hair the day after you use this I don't always do that though I mean I only wash my hair sort of once every three or four days sounds pretty <laughs> disgusting but yeah I just like to keep like the natural oils in it I think washing it too much can really damage and strip it um so yeah just this like to give a bit of volume after you've washed it um I hate like because I have quite long layers of well, my layers are pretty much grown out now my hair is just a bit heavy so I need something to just like give a bit of volume to the roots but this just like dusting a little bit on and then like um messing it about a bit um I don't usually brush it out because again I don't really brush my hair um because it's unbrushable um, but yeah it's it's just really good for like volume like long hair short hair anyone really um, because we all have a bit of oomph in the hair and um, yes yeah, so that's really good um, well I don't really have anything else to show you but I hope you enjoyed this first little video thing that I went tried out um, let me know if you want to see more videos or not or if you want me to stick to blogging um, yeah, just I'm a bit afraid of YouTube commenters, they can be quite mean. Um, but you know, it's your opinion, feel free. If you want to see more videos, let me know. If you never want me to make a video again, again, tell me, and you know, I'll take it all on board. So yeah, um, this has been my February favourites, and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye!